Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's alternate jersey time again. We already did the East Division and the Central Division. I think at the East I could show you I could show you 10 jerseys of seven teams. On the Central only six jerseys of five teams. Now it's the West. There I have more. Let's jump right into this. This alternate jerseys. Adidas from the West Division. We are doing this again in alphabetical order. So the West starts with Anaheim. The Anaheim Ducks, or Mighty Ducks. Their current alternate jersey is the one they had in Reebok and now they have it in Adidas. And it's the Orange County Mighty, as I call it. The old Mighty Ducks logo with this wonderful 3D effect. This is really come close. This looks like the uh, head, uh, the, the front of the mask is really coming forward. This looks absolutely amazing. With the triangle in the background. I love this logo and I think if the Ducks decide to rebrand, take this. This worked, you have it, use it! Orange, of course, for Orange County. These stripes on the sleeves with black, off gold and white. And here on the bottom, look very good. It is blank on the back. The shoulder patch on both sides is their current logo, the duck foot. I absolutely love this jersey. The black neckline with Anna I'm written. This looks fantastic. Nothing to criticize. The Anna I'm Ducks and their current alternate jersey. But we are not finished with the Ducks. Their 25th anniversary season, they had this beauty as an alternate. Meanwhile, this one is rare to find. It's a fantastic jersey. Copied a little bit from their original design with this upward moving line. Of course, the 3D logo again, the Mighty Duck. It's a little bit used now. I'm wearing this a lot because I absolutely love it. The eggplant color behind the NHL logo in the neckline. 25 years silver season. On the back, not only it's blank, the silver line, you already see the shoulder patches, the current logo, the duck foot. Yeah, this is great. I think they took the best they had from all their jerseys and combined it into one, and that's this one. It's very shame that, don't, that they don't use it anymore. It was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Anna, for this jersey. The next team is Arizona. Now, again, the question I already asked when I did the video about the home jerseys. Which one is now your home jersey? Is it this one? Or is it this one? The Coyote or the Kachina? Can anybody tell me, please? Arizona, if you want this as a home jersey, that's absolutely fine. That's cool. The Kachina is beloved. Absolutely, there's this was not for nothing ranked number one among the home jerseys of the Western Division in my ranking. Absolutely great jersey. Is this your home jersey or not? Or is it this one, which is the complement to their road jersey, which I, unfor I unfortunately don't have? Or do you want to use this as an alternate? They're both blank. They're both beautiful. The Kachina was number one in the West ranking. I think this one was number five. Not bad as well. Would be good for alternate, but this one would be two. Arizona, please decide and tell me. Next up is a jersey where I have to make a special shout out again to my friend Christian, or Ed as we call him who uh, was on holiday 
in the United States, in uh, Colorado to be precisely. He was looking for this jersey for me for, I think, two or three weeks when he was on the road. And he found it on the final day when he took a ride to the Pepsi Center and found this one. Thank you so much. Colorado Avalanche and the Ultimate Jersey. They had this one in the Reebok time and it came over to Adidas and it looks just fantastic. The Colorado, the sea of the Colorado State flag, the mountains in the back, all in this triangle, perfect. Again, the contrast, the white shoulders and the dark blue jersey, fantastic. The burgundy color on the sleeve with the white stripe, the burgundy of course comes from their home jersey. Shoulder patch is the full state flag of Colorado. Nothing in the neckline, but as you might have, you saw the A already. This is my, one of my two Nathan McKinnon jerseys. One of the best players in the league and for sure the best one from the Colorado Avalanche, which had a very beautiful, very unique alternate jersey. Thank you very much. From the next team, I can show you two jerseys again. Beautiful ones as the Los Angeles Kings. They alternate, which is, I think, their best jersey, which uses this logo. I'm not a big fan of that logo. If they would have used the crown on its own, I think this would look much better. You don't need this LA, or as, as they had it on their... Uh, no, it wasn't the classic stadium series shirt when they played in uh, Colorado. This big LA. No! Use the crown or the shield or the logo we are coming to with the next jersey. But don't write LA. Everybody knows you're from LA. The gray jersey. Blank on the back with the black stripes on the sleeves and here at the bottom. The contrast I like very much between the black here and the gray. The laces here don't do anything but I think they look good. They have a purple in the neckline here with the two crowns for the two Stanley Cups. They won in 2014 and in 2012. The alternate jersey for the Los Angeles Kings is a beauty. And as mentioned, we are not finished with LA. They have another alternate jersey they didn't use this year, but last year. And it's this one. Their nice Chevron logo, Los Angeles Kings written. This looks much better than just LA. The crown, yeah, good. The uh, silver and black stripes on the bottom and on the sleeves. This baby is blank on the back as well. The black neckline, again, looks very good. Classical jersey from the time when Wayne Gretzky played there. The white jersey from the Los Angeles Kings. Next up would be Minnesota. Unfortunately, I do not have a Minnesota alternate jersey in an Adidas. I am not sure if one is existing they were scheduled to play the Winter Classic, January 1st, 2021. This game didn't take place. Maybe they will try again next year and we will then get an alternate Winter Classic specialty jersey from the Minnesota Wild. So I could show it to you, but I cannot now. Move right on to the next team. But there, with the next team, we have two jerseys again. One normal alternate and one uh, Jubilee jersey. Let's start with the alternate. San Jose. This jersey is a dog hair attractor. Ah, who cares? The stealth, of course. It's a beauty. This is Sharks territory in the teal colored neckline absolutely fantastic. The shark fins here and the shoulder patches look absolutely fantastic. 
and the black logo on the black background again as we had it with the Philadelphia alternate jersey just the small white line it works it's good the uh, teal stripes here on the sleeves they are missing here at the bottom yeah that's the only thing I could criticize what is also wonderful if you see it here on this black stripe between the teal I hope you can see it the structure the texture SJ for San Jose the stealth is absolutely a beautiful jersey and we are not done with the Sharks because this year is their 30th anniversary so they came up with a specialty jersey which I got from uh, Benage Sports I wasn't planning to get this I'm now very happy that I got it it's the 30th anniversary Sharks jersey the old logo on the teal background fantastic it doesn't look as angry as the one on the stealth but it looks very very good white color black in the middle did anybody complain about a clerical color I don't <laughs> this one is blowing on the back it has this wonderful striping of white gray and black on the sleeves and here on the bottom yeah fantastic great looking jersey great job San Jose of course the shoulder patches have to be mentioned with the shark fin thank you for this jersey it's the stealth is good but this is my favorite sh jersey for the San Jose Sharks next up St. Louis I can show you again two jerseys let's start with this one this is their current alternate which looks retro this is so retro uh, the blue note yeah nice the neckline inside the neckline with the fleur de lille as they have it on their home and away jersey the striping yeah this off-white color looks good the yellow as well on the bottom here and on the sleeves this is a nice jersey I think it's a little boring I don't know it just don't, doesn't talk to me like other jerseys like the next one you will see yeah it's a good jersey I got it from Benage Sports it's for me nothing special but it's nice up next another St. Louis this one talks to me this one tells me I am so great and I think it's right their retro from the 90s which also was the the jersey they took their reverse retro from there they just reversed the colors as the name says it reverse retro yeah they took the blue and put it to the bottom and they took the red and put it up here we will see these two jerseys together when we talk about the reverse retros but today it's only about the alternates the blue note with the st louis written in the yellow striping the red at the bottom fantastic the yellow color with the red outline looks so good this jersey is not straight if you see the difference is the fine strap it's here up here it's so high compare it to the other st louis Whoop, here we go the fight strap on this jersey is up here on this jersey it should be up here no it's down here this is from this wear striping <laughs> but it works very good the shoulder patches of course is the trumpets which is a fantastic secondary logo I think there once was a jersey which had this as the main and was all over covered with the trumpets and the players refused to wear it does anybody have this jersey I think you could charge millions for that and that wouldn't be enough this baby is an absolute beauty 
I like it a lot in this version, version and in the reverse retro version. St. Louis and their 90s retro jersey. Last up, final up for the alternate and old Adidas jerseys of the NHL's West Division is the Vegas Golden Knights. We are not talking about the reverse retros, we're talking about the alternate jerseys. And this jersey, there's only one team that can wear it, and it's Vegas. There is nothing more Vegas possible than this one. Their regular logo with these nice textures and structures here around looks good. The gold, of course, do you see anything that different than gold? I don't. White stripe here and the gray of their home jersey here at the bottom and on the sleeves. The red stripe looks fantastic, separating this white, which also has structure. Hope you can see it. There's nothing more Vegas possible than this jersey. Blank on the back with the alternate logos on the shoulders. I like it. The material of course is, yeah, it's a little scratchy. So you cannot, at least I cannot, wear this jersey on the skin. I need a t-shirt below it. Then it works. Always advance, never retreat. Here in the neckline, show you that again. There is nothing more Vegas possible than this jersey. Thank you, Vegas. And that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, for listening to the bullshit I'm telling you all the time. <laughs> See you soon when we talk about the North, the Canadian division. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.